this is my first Marvel Cinematic Universe review on YouTube. And what a way to start with none other than Black Panther. Uh, a little bit of a true story. Uh, I wa wanted to watch Black Panther on the big screen, but I, I couldn't go because uh, the tickets were sold out and with the good seats. And I saw it coming because obviously this is what happened with every Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. You always gonna have difficulty looking for a good seat, but it wasn't. It it. But I did go out with a with a better deal at least. I went to see Early Man then, but don't worry, I like Early Man. But then I kind of had myself the time to watch Black Panther on the next day, but with a better seat. Yeah, sometimes I have a better, I have a little bit of a picky thing about seatings on, on, on movie theaters. I mean, who does? I mean, who doesn't? Everyone wants to sit on a good view, at least, not too close to the movie screen. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but so, uh, for all of the people from YouTube who doesn't know me, I got, here's a little bit of my thoughts about the superhero genre. They're fun. They're they are entertaining. I can see why it's successful. There's sometimes sometimes when people they tried some cinematic universe, they kind of fail, just like they did with Justice League. Or the mummy, for worst case, even though that's not a superhero movie, but more of a cinematic universe thing. Marvel did uh, did handle the things better, and to the point that look what we are. We're here, and then we watch a lot of Marvel movies that are, for the most part, pretty good. And I keep enjoying them and keep up to keep it up up to date to watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and but. Uh, for a weird reason, I skip out most of the time the uh, the ones that are made by Fox, uh, kind of like the X Men, but not all of them. I mean, I still watch Deadpool, uh, which kind of became one of my favorite movies of that year. And but let's leave that aside, and let's just say that uh, I'm uh, uh, that continuing on with the trend of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I saw Black Panther, which it was one of the most anticipated for various reasons. First of all, is that it's not it. Black Panther was one obscure superhero that many people didn't know until he, until he took the, a little bit of the spotlight on Captain America: Civil, Civil War. And I'm glad with it because it felt like an interesting character and I'm a guy who despite knowing about most of the superheroes that I there is a chance that I have missed something and I because I, I don't have too much of of, of uh, comic books to read and all this stuff so it is so kind of let's say that the Marvel the Marvel movies are kind of like a blessing in disguise so we got Black Panther, who is the probably the, a good icon for Af for African superheroes, in, in this case, with an interesting with an interesting path, an interesting backstory, and I came and and went and went and dig in, and it tells it tells the basics of uh, of the of the of the Black Panther mythos without going into an origin story or something like that. But basically, Black Panther is... It, it, he is the, a king of a secluded country in Africa. I think South Africa named Wakanda. In which, despite, the, uh, despite being in Africa, which many people kind of consider it a very poor continent, Wakanda is... It, it managed to handle their... Their, their most, their, their biggest resource, which is a very hard mineral called vibranium. They managed to handle it really, really well to the point that they are really, really good on tech and technological advances, even more superior than, uh, than what we got. But Wakanda is also very pride, pride of, proud of, 
of how to handle the material to the point that they're secluded. They, they are hidden. They're hidden by in the shadow. They, they don't show it this to anyone. So they're very strict to that. And the Black Panther is technically their king. The king is the one that uh, that also drinks an herb that is, let's say that is kind of that up from the years past, it has been radiated by the radiation of the of the meteor with vibranium that uh, that landed on Africa, and the one who drinks the herb it gains uh, super net superhuman abilities and agility and and all this stuff, but this is only reserved to uh, reserved to the Black Panther or the king. Now, I mean, the king. It's so they can have a representative who can, who can fight for Wakanda and be a representative of the country in all over the world. And the movie follows the current Black Panther, T'Challa, uh, who we met him on Captain America Civil War. But, but we can leave this aside because this is technically his own movie. So basically, the movie takes place after Captain America Civil War. During those events, the father of T'Challa, uh, he, he got killed, and now he has to to assume the position from, from prince to king. And after a ritual of, of proving his kingship, he, he has to deal with all the hardships that Wakanda is facing. Like, for example, you can see the problems about an isolated country that, yeah, is kind of safe, but sometimes you kind of get worried about the people that are outside the, uh, outside the, uh, the community. Uh, that is until they, uh, until he begins, he wants to chase down a criminal that has been on the run from, uh, from, uh, from them, which is this guy who stole their vibranium. It's, I think he was called Ulysses, something like that, he, and he's played by Andy Serkis. And my, and Jesus Christ, this guy, he totally knows how to have fun as a villain and, and, and as a movie, and what a total douche he is. A total sadistic douche, and the best way I can describe is that what will happen if John Goodman went insane. Oh wait, there is one that is called Cloverfield, Cloverfield, no, this more Cloverfield movie that I, the name escapes me. It, it, it's the 101 Clo Cloverfield Lane, I, you know, I kind of forgot the, forgot the movie, let's at least leave that aside. But apart from that, there is also another plot which involves, you know, uh, which involves this uh, and this, uh, 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 how can I say, it? the uncle of T'Challa, who, his, who his, he escaped from Wakanda, moved to New York, and, and T'Challa's father, he killed him because of tre treason, and because he, is, he was trying to smuggle uh, vibranium weaponry all, ar uh, all around. And, well... <laughs> Uh, well, it follows also the plot of this character, what was it, Killmonger, who is the son of, who is the, who is the son of the un of T'Challa's uncle. Uh, technically, it, it, like we could say that it's a nephew or something like that, but they they never talk about it. About it, you, I just only put the pieces together. But but the point is that it that things escalate like a Marvel movie, but. In a way, it also has a little bit of a social commentary about about uh, isolation, pride, what are their consequences, and what will happen when you abandon people who are outside, when you think about just protecting protecting your secrets here and there, and the problem about not sharing with other nations, uh, with abandoning people in need, and it's understandable, and this is what makes the villain, the main villain, Killmonger, a uh, very compelling character. Oh, and and the and the actor Michael G. Michael B. Jordan, no relationship to the basketball player. He he's really good. He really managed to to make to do one of the better better characters he has done in his career. But also it's thanks to the writing and the directing of the directing of of the movie. 
uh, many people directed the, the Marvel movies. Some are good, some are okay. It's rare to see something that, that comes out very, very lousy, at least from the, on, the, on the Marvel Cinematic Universe branch. Fox made some bad movie, but in this one, rarely. I think the last one I didn't like from that Cinematic Universe was Iron Man 3. And that's pretty that's pretty much the the one that I came out really disappointed for for last, but Black Panther is probably one of the best. Uh, uh, and you know what? If I keep on talking, uh, without a script, I might I might come off as uh, the obvious Marvel fanboys that uh, praising the movie a lot because. Technically not the correct guy to review those kind of movies. It's sometimes for me pretty hard to come off as a negative in order to in order to decrease the ego of saying that this is a great movie. But we could say that maybe some of the negative is that that there they are that the pacing it can be a little bit slow in some parts, but unfortunately it counter because it's still interesting. You like the dynamics of a lot of the characters. Probably one of my favorite characters is is the princess, T'Challa's sister, who she comes as a very sassy character who who she's really, really eager and open to try out the the technology of a vibranium, but adding a little bit of a energetic spice on uh, what she's doing. And she's really, really likable. There's also T'Challa's the girlfriend, who also has a little bit of an, uh, uh of an, uh, she, she builds her relationship with, uh, with the T'Challa. There's also this warrior, uh, I, I forgot the name, but it's that war, that warrior guardian who, she does have a, a very magnificent arc of trying to pinpoint where your loyalties go. And it, and it, and she pretty much kind of learns that being loyal to the king doesn't mean that you have to follow it even if the king is failing. It's like I even say in, polit in politics or in movies. If you love someone, you should also doubt them. You should also rebel when, they're, when they are do going for the harmful, harmful ways. Like in this case, when... Uh, you know, whatever this name escapes me, where, where Warmonger is, is, uh, is, is using, uh, some, his, his use of a Wakandan blood to rebel against humanity. Because, yeah, he, it, it this is kind of, again, comes a little bit of a social commentary, uh, saying that, People should stick together, so we should rebel with arms and kind of and being angry that yeah those uh, yeah those people they they left us behind and all this stuff, and but also you get the arc of of our hero, the hero sh uh, uh, begins to see that sometimes the things about the past and sometimes the traditions do sometimes do more harm. Than, than, uh, than compelling, and sometimes we have to get on with the times and to and socialize with with everyone, with empathize with uh, empathize with everyone, being a more fair king to everyone instead of just following traditions because that's the way it is. Uh, anyway, it is in, in the case of Wakanda, a very a uh, very isolated country uh, with a very very valuable mineral. But while it is okay to keep uh, to keep the the mineral exploitation in secret for the sake of not uh, of avoiding people who abuses of their power, it, it, he should make still a, make a fair deal on how to handle it. So it is a little bit of a double-edged sword that it is worth risking. Obviously, being a superhero movie, the biggest highlight is the action scenes, and again, they're fantastic. I, I there, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is really good on creating some great action scenes. No matter if the character is in their suit or whatever they're fighting a war, there is. 
<laughs> there is that. And they also have their slight chances of humor and one-liners. And they work well. It, uh, they work well. Uh, they are balanced. Uh, balanced with this from, from the seriousness to the uh, to uh, the, the humor that they give in order to give out a little bit of refreshing fresh air out of, of a lot of sadness, a lot of explosions. And then, and then someone will come up and do something stupid. But again, they do it in the right time, in the right moment. It's something that is hard to do. I do. So, yeah, that, that, that I could say that this is my, my or, humble thought on Black Panther. I really, really like it. But despite that encouraging you to watch it, I... Again, I want you to also give it a chance to Early Man. I know that I'm sounding I like promoting Early Man, but come on. Uh, but come on, being uh, being more of an animation guy, he... Uh, I kind of wish that more people support Art Man and see how how it is. But uh, but either way, if you, if you like... Uh, if you like the superheroes and you're not tired of the of the genre check it out because for me I'm not tired I'm still enjoying those movies as it is it and so I'm kind of a little bit sick of hearing people saying oh the typical superhero genre is this and that and all this stuff dude what do you expect this is why you go and watch movies and sometimes you might get surprised here or there, there but don't demand too much. Don't go too much on expectation now about about what happens. There is a structure, and they're doing, and the superhero genre is doing well on that structure. No matter how uh, how predictable sometimes it 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 can get. But uh, so that's my only message for for now for for the superhero genre. So so see you see you next time.